welcome YouTubers to the One Alpha Tango channel. And if you're a returning uh, simmer, well, I thank you for coming back. And if you're new, I hope I can show you something interesting here. And uh, also, Anthony from Staten Island, New York. I appreciate your comments. Thank you. Let's try and show you the deployment of the chute that comes with the uh, Cirrus jet. So we'll simulate a, an engine out and then deploy the chute and see how it reacts. So let's see if we can get this here going. Let's get the battery on. Avionics on. And let's put the fuel selector on. And let's get the fuel pump going. Okay. Throttles are idle. Ignition on. And start. And we'll wait till the till the N1 goes over 20% at least. Okay, we could let go of the start button. And let's get the uh, generator on. Hydraulic pumps on. The ice, we don't need the ice. There's no weather out there uh, to worry about. And let's bring this down a little bit. We'll get the transponder on. 1200, that's fine. Uh, radios, nah, we won't need them. Reject the takeoff. Let's set the indicated airspeed to oh, about 180. Altitude. Let's take it up some. I'm setting the altitude and the indicated airspeed right from the uh, from the panel itself, rather than with the switches, with the switch panel. It's a little quicker this way to jump to uh, to a higher setting. We won't need the FMS. Let's set the trim. Get some lights on here. Taxi, strobe, nav, beacon. Okay. Um, I think we got everything. We're not carrying any passengers today, so we won't bother turning the no smoking and the seatbelt signs on. Um, we have it set for uh, a sunset. It's kind of dark out here in the Atlanta area right now. Boy, we must be facing the sun. It's kind of bright. Okay, we're going to back this here up. We're using that uh, airport navigator. Brakes are off. We're out of the sunlight.
This is Atlanta, Hartsfield Jackson. And, uh, okay, we'll just took off the panel with the frequencies on. Okay, off to our right. Jet. I am using SkyMax uh, for the cloud rendering. I'm sure, it makes a difference with the clouds that it produces from the default. Okay, let's start to our right here. Nobody out there. Uh, I guess we're facing the sun. Holy smokes. Yeah, the sun is setting. I think we're going to get on the runway right from here. We don't have to go all the way to the end. And we'll take off that uh, airport navigator. Whoops. Let me put the brakes on. There they are. Take that taxi light off. And let me set the VS vertical speed and decatur up. I guess that's good. Let's get out on the runway now. Brakes are off. And let's make sure we got 10 degrees of flaps to take off. Oh, isn't that nice? I see lights up ahead. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Full 
power. some altitude here. Climb a little bit more. That will kill the engines and we'll deploy the chute. Now, to deploy the chute, we should be less than 90 uh, knots indicated airspeed. up on 180, so she's going to slow down a little. And... There's some clouds over here. Let's take a look outside a little. There's the airport right below us. back inside. Fifty seven hundred feet. Let's start to slow it down some. Isn't it? I guess we have a sunset sky, really yellow. Out the left window. Right. Oh, there's nobody back there. And 
that's a front shot. Get a little below down. What's going on inside? Now, let's um, let's cut the fuel off. Raise the nose, slow it down. Here we are. Yeah, we can lower that. Let's, let's deploy the chute now. Let's, okay. And there it is. Let me back it up some. Okay, as you can see, we're bobbing around. Let's go back inside. Okay, we're at about 5,500 feet here. Shut all electric off. I guess we're looking at the Atlanta area. A bird's eye view here. And still coming down. Looks like 2,100 feet a minute. We're at 4,700 feet now. Well, I just paused the video until we came down a little more. We're at 3,500 feet. Um, if it was an engine fire, probably have no choice but to deploy the uh, chute uh, to get you down wherever but here I hope we don't land on top of somebody's uh, roof or uh, or into the trees but um, in an emergency if we could have glided to a safe spot we would have done that there rather than pull the chute but just for um, viewing purposes to see how it uh, reacts we pulled the chute now let's see if we can get back outside again. Here we are. Again, we're at, uh, here we go, coming up on 3,000 feet. Okay, we unpaused again. We're, we just passed 2,000 feet. You're going to ride the rest of the way down with me. And I hope people are running. They see this big piece of metal coming down on their heads. Let's go back outside. Here we are, still bobbing around.
Okay. We're getting closer. We have no forward airspeed, but we're still coming down, I guess, at, uh, oh, about 1,500, yeah, it's about 1,500 feet a minute. Outside again. Is the parachute. Okay, let's get a close-up of this guy here. Here we go. Coming in. Ah! Well, I think the people will still be alive, and you got some wreckage on the, the gears, the landing gears. But that's it. That's what happens. And I guess it's going to try to reload again, but that's the chute being deployed. I thank you for watching.